ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, uh, welcome back to New Planet Summertime Review, and today we will be take we'll be reviewing this guy, the uh, Shapeshifter Apocalypse. So he is a really buffy dude, huge, uh, and uh, Apocalypse is actually one of the most one of the strongest villains. Uh, mutants in the entire Marvel Universe so this guy he's a big baddie so uh, I'm kind of glad I managed to find him uh, you know in the uh, can't remember where I found it Bought it a few years back and uh, this is the box uh, for this I have the box with the box with me so this is the back of the box. This is the front. Those shapeshifter. So this is by Toy Biz. Now, as you can see, it transformed to a Gatling gun. See that? So the transformation is here. Okay, you literally need to follow the transformation. And there are other figures from this line. I mean, uh, I don't have any of these. I have a uh, Punisher. So. And you can like, I don't know if you can see this here. Let me see. If you can. Uh, huh. Let me try to focus this a bit. Okay, you can actually pause it just now. Okay, so it is nice. This is from Marvel, Marvel Comics. Okay, I have this guy. Okay, I don't have other stuff, uh, which I wish I do. Okay, so yeah, very nice. Very nice packaging. Anyways, for size comparison, here he is with. Punisher is slightly taller. This guy is a bit smaller. Now, unlike uh, Punisher, this guy isn't as controversial as the former. Uh, if you want to know what the controversy is all about, uh, do take a look at that uh, review. Maybe I'm going to put the link somewhere down below. Anyway, to transform him, oh yeah, before we go to transformation, this is the uh, the uh, articulation point. The head turns, but because of the design of this thing, you know, the collar, it can only like slightly look to the left and right. And the hands, it's okay. There's no elbow at all, but it can only rotate, and even that is for transformational joint. You see more of it later. There's no wrist movement. There's no waist. There's no no. There is none of this uh, hip movement. I mean, uh, well, hip movement. There's no. Oops, not meant to happen. That I mean. Okay, so basically, it's brick. You know, the whole figure is like a brick this there's a bit of movement and it rotates like that that's it and he also comes with this clip onto your back and i don't know if you can see this this is from 96 1999 okay and again to release this okay the thing is this is a bit loose i don't know why this is like the thing pops up quite easily it's not as tight as uh, the one with uh, Punisher. Uh, I'm just gonna put this to the side. Not gonna use it much. And uh, but I do need the bullet that I just dropped. Okay, just put it there. Now to transform him, you need to like open this up. This, you probably need to like push it to the back. This, you need to 
open the legs out, spread the legs a bit. This will reveal this getting it. Now, for this, as you can see, you can like pull this, lift it up a bit so that it can turn, and then you can collapse it back. Ah. I'm not sure if you can see this. There's a peg here. It's actually there's a peg on both sides. This and somewhere here. See? Well, this is supposed to peg to this. There's a hole here. See? So it kind of like ensures that this guy do not move all over the place when you want to play with the uh you know the other mode. Now then you lift this. This you're gonna leave it like that first. Now the legs, you want to close this up. You see these two pack, these two holes. Uh, those two holes will pack into this, this two pack. So now uh, that being then it's like really tough. Huh? Then the legs, you want to like twist it this way, twist it this way, and you're supposed to like join this together it doesn't pack in but it's like you meant to align you are meant to align this together there you go like this now the hands you want to like open up okay this you need to like turn it until to the point that you can actually open this up see this way lift the hands up the fist close like this now you want to do the same thing for this side like this oops fist then close it up again now once you do that this portion here you want to like shift it shift it in like this shift it in like this with this facing upwards am i doing this right yeah i think so yep i'm doing this right so Basically, the hands is gonna just like hang there. I mean, I would love if there's somewhere that I can pack the hands onto, but there's nothing. So, yeah, like that. So this is meant to be a Gatling gun. You know, you're supposed to like maybe to hold it this way. Uh, yeah, it's a weak mode, but uh, it's there. But basically, you're done. Oh yeah, you need to pull this out. You know, extend this so this is how it looks like the whole damn thing so it's a huge figure so you need like take out the bullets you need all four bullets now you need to plug in here uh, you need to find that sweet spot because at some point is there ah, there you go uh, you just push it in now to launch this now here's where it gets nicer you're supposed to like turn this around and then launch one by one okay let's go and it shoots really well to be honest and all my bullets just fall, fall all over the place uh, excuse me so basically that's how it shoots okay it uses all four of them uh, my biggest weakness i mean the, my biggest complaint is that i mean i like that the part that it can lock in it can feel solid at times but it just detaches too way too easily especially if you play around with the gatling gun too much and uh, see uh i just need to push but the hands now the hands hanging is not really my cup of tea but uh yeah now to transform him you need to close it up uh release 
the front part of the body and uh, lift this portion up turn it around close it up okay and then turn this around as well okay turn this legs open up the legs now uh, you need to like push everything in now for the legs you need to like make sure it's like that okay there's a groove here where this will fall in just nicely and when that happens these two will go into the hips so you need to align that properly and when that happens you can lock this part back together just tap it in and open the legs up you can stand turn these hands around now you want to release the fist uh, nah. just release the fist this and then uh, let's do for this side as well I don't know why I have having problem with this fist okay there you go So then turn it around like this. So there you have him in his mode. So this is this mode, which is very nice. Oops, we drop it again. So uh, I'm just gonna put this back in. So, I mean, the fans of uh, X-Men, Mutant, uh, Apocalypse would probably love this. I mean, it is a good-looking figure. I mean, it is a 90s toy. And then, uh, so the figure isn't exactly stellar, but it's okay. I mean, the, uh, it's shiny chrome. I mean, it's really nice for displaying but it's also a finger magnet fingerprint magnet I mean, yeah so it's really shiny chromey chromish chromey something like that but uh, yeah and this is really predominant right here so I hope you guys love this review I hope this has been quite informative for you so if you like this review please give it a thumbs up down there and uh, do subscribe to our channel and do follow us on our Instagram pages and uh, Instagram page and uh, Facebook page as well. So just keep in search for our, uh, just keep in New Planet Cybertron and you'll find us. You'll see our logo there and then you just, you know, follow on. So uh, I hope you like this review. Thanks for watching.